Anthony Passarelli here with Bronco head coach Herb Sendick following a Bronco 76 to 69 victory over the Cal Poly Mustangs uh, down at Cal Poly. Coach, you were missing a couple of, of starters in the backcourt, but the Broncos had a powerful second half to come away with a victory. Share with your, uh, us your general thoughts on tonight's game. You know, w once again, much like last Wednesday, our guys showed tremendous toughness and resiliency uh, in a different way tonight, but nonetheless, those attributes clearly uh, were part of our team's effort tonight. You know, we fell behind by 15 points in the first half and our guys didn't flinch. They battled back and cut it to 10 and then played a much better second half. What were there any adjustments? What were the adjustments to get the Broncos off to a nine nothing start to the second half and, and continue to push? You know, honestly, if there wasn't any strategic revolutions at halftime. Uh, we just did better the things that we um, planned to do. Uh, so into our guys credit, I, I, they just they just really dug in. They played with greater force and purpose. And, uh, you know, the results reflected that. And two of those guys that had strong second halves, uh, jo Joseph Frankich and Keyshawn Justice, uh, talk about their performances uh, separately, if you would. Well, that comment that we just uh, shared regarding playing with more force certainly applies to Yosef and Keyshawn in the second half. I thought both those guys, you know, really were aggressive in the second half and, and it kind of took the bull by the horn, so to speak. And then there were two players that we got to see, one we hadn't seen at all this year, and one we got to see a lot more of in redshirt freshman uh, Miguel Tomley and, and true freshman Trent Hudgens. Uh, talk a little bit about Miguel's game. Um, you know, Broncos haven't been, fans haven't really been able to see him that much, but he contributed uh, a lot tonight. He really did. Miguel did a tremendous job for us, uh, made a couple big threes, uh, was perfect at the foul line, and... Uh, you know, once again, just kind of at the beginning stages of, of his career, uh, having missed last year with an injury um, and just getting started this year. So, you know, between Trent and Miguel, um, two guys that are just kind of coming out of the gates for us, um, they did a really good job, as did Jordan Williams off the bench. You know, none of those guys have a, a great deal of experience, um, and they did a really good job for us tonight. And then finally, I will ask, because uh, we just kind of talked about those players that got an opportunity with two players out, Christian Carlisle and Jalen Williams. Any word on, on their status uh, going forward? Right now, both guys are day-to-day, are -day, um, you know, and we're just glad that they both are showing signs of recovery. And, and when, when they're cleared, uh, we will welcome them back because those are obviously two really important and good players for us, and we certainly miss them tonight. Well, Coach, we always appreciate it. Broncos get a victory 76-69 to 69 on the road. First uh, true road game of the season down in Cal Poly. Uh, Coach, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Anthony.